Welcome, race fans, to Redline TV as we're going to bring you flag to flag coverage of today's 60 plus race here today at Spa. Welcoming in Charles Smith to the booth. Welcome, Charles. Yep, thank you. Glad to be here. Yep, this should be an exciting race today for these guys in the HPDs and the Pro Mazdas around Spa here. They're turning 21 laps. I believe there's going to be a pit stop involved with these cars today. Very long, grueling race around this four mile circuit. Yeah, I think they'll definitely have to pit once. Do we know what um, pit stalls they're using here? Because um, I know y you could choose to use either the Formula One pit stall or you can use the other start-finish line where the GT pits are. Uh, does it uh, say uh, which uh, side they're using today? Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, they're using the one I think after the uh, the hairpin. Ah, so they're using. That's the, what it looks uh, like. Okay, so they're using the pit lane that's uh, okay after the Formula One pit lane and front stretch. Okie dokie then. That's what it looks like. That uh, should make things interesting. Because that means the hairpin will be the last turn instead of the first turn. Yep. All right, folks, we're going to step away here shortly and uh, do the invocation. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and we're going to get you set up here for the gridding process. We'll give these guys just a few more seconds to get their cars on the grid, and uh, we'll show you where everyone is starting at here this afternoon at Spa. Alrighty, 
Let's get down through the grid here. Starting on the pole position here in the HPD class, we have Andy Morgan with a qualifying time of 206.760. So congratulations to Andy Morgan for grabbing the pole position here in the HPD class. And we've got Jose Vandeven starting in second place. Oh, sorry about that, folks. I hit the wrong button. Um, Donald Strout will be starting in third. John Morgan will be starting in fourth. And I believe Andrew Fiddler rounds out the field in the HPD class. And I believe Marcel Gutierrez is on the pole position in the uh, Pro Mazdas. No, he's, he's in HPD. He's in HPD, too. Okay, I apologize yes, yes. for that. So he will round out the field in the HPD class. Yep. And Remigio de Pasco will be starting first in the Pro Mazda. Gianni Respato will be starting second. Starting third will be Kenneth Baldwin. Fourth will be Richard Columbia. Fifth will be Joe Martin. Jim Oliver will start in sixth. Jose Carlos Campadonico will be starting seventh. And rounding out the field will be Dennis Cook. Yep, so only 14 cars overall. The short of the field here what we see normally out of these guys here, 60 plus. But uh, they are doing a rolling start here, and they will be getting going shortly here. Uh, as we see the pace cars still on the racetrack, as we said, they're not using the Formula One front stretch and pit road. They're using the GT front stretch and pit road, too. They wouldn't call that a front stretch down there. It's more of a, a corner itself. Uh, so the hairpin turn won't be the first turn here today. It will be the last turn. So as these guys get ready to go racing here. There, the pace car pulls into pit road. Green, green, green. And there is a green flag. We're underway here at Spa for the 60 Plus Racing League, in the HPD class and the Pro Boston class today. And we see these guys coming into the first turn now, going up the hill here. This is a very fast paced corner and section through this whole racetrack. Now they're thundering down the long straightaway here after the first couple corners. And we've got Donald Strout already heating up the competition here in third place, trying to get a run on Joseph Vandeven and Andy Morgan, teammates here. He's with it, get right between them, take second place. Oh, we got HPD a little loose back there. Yeah, he ran, he hit the wall, who was that? That was John Morgan. Yes. He's going to lose a lot of ground on that one. Oh, we're trying to get back to John Morgan here take a look. I apologize for the uh, delay there. Let's ride on board with John Morgan here. Looks like he just took that a little too hot. Clipped the rumble strip and man, around he went. He has a little bit of damage to the front end of that vehicle now, and uh, he had to wait for the pro bosses to go by. Uh, we'll see if he uh, comes down pit road right here to uh, assess that car, or if he will stay out. It looks like he's got too much damage on the front, so I don't think it will be enough to keep him uh, out of the race, possibly, to make him go down pit road until they possibly have to make their first pit stop of the race. But back up front here, we will go to race leader Andy Morgan. Yeah, Vandeven made a mistake, went around, and let Andrew Fiddler go by. Oh, no. Isn't that a tough break there for him. Looks like the few drivers in the HPD class having some trouble on the start as we have one lap complete of 21 laps and 20 laps remaining. Now, 21 laps doesn't seem like a lot of laps in racing, but around Spa, this is a 4.3 mile track. So Yeah, 4.35. Yeah, so 4.35 miles around Spa. That's actually a little bit long, so 21 laps will be kind of a long race here, and uh, we'll see how these guys take to it. 
Right now, Andy Morgan doing a fantastic job staying out front of Donald Stroud here. We always know week in and week out that Donald Stroud's always one of the fast drivers in the top tier class. And today, he's got his work cut out for him as Andy Morgan did grab the pole position. It looks like he's already got a few steps ahead of him here and uh, starting to pull away. He's now almost a one-second lead over Donald Stroud. on Remigio de Pasqua back here. He is the leader in the Pro Mazdas. Wow, he actually has a race going on back here. We've got a couple drivers behind him. Oh, and we've got a contact made between a Pro Mazda and a HPD car. I believe that was uh, John Morgan again. Let's go back and take a look at this. seen John Morgan was back here with the Pro Mazdas. Joe Martin's in the pits. He does have some damage. Got a good battle shape up for the lead in HPDs right now. Yes, we do. And that was Richard Columbia that we saw there that uh, had contact there with uh, John Morgan, so... Tough break there for those guys. Let's go back up front here to Andy Morgan. As Don Stroud starting to close that gap back up. As we talked there a lap ago, Andy Morgan had a one-second lead over him. Now Don Stroud has just changed that all together in perspective. And he's now only two seconds behind here, two tenths. So we'll see if he can uh, catch up here and uh, start battling the position with Andy Morgan. He's got a strong fight going on here. As we come into the next. Oh, yeah, he's putting the pressure on. Yes, he is. Yeah, we're coming around the second to last corner here. It's usually Formula One. It's the first, it's the first corner, but for these guys today, it's the last corner. The dreadful hairpin turn. And uh, we'll see if uh, any more. Oh! What did you see? I didn't see anything. Yeah, it was actually. Uh, Oh, we have a crash from the Promazes. For they were battling for the lead, and there was a big crash. I think Gianni Raspado was involved. Oh no! Did we catch the other car? I think it was Kenneth Baldwin. They were both trying to race Remigio over the lead, and it looks like they clipped each other. Yeah, Kenneth Baldwin was involved in that there. Man, heavy damage on Remigio's car. Yeah, I think that's going to be a pit stop for Remigio there. That's a lot of damage. Or, not, excuse me, not Remigio, uh, Gianni. Um, yeah, Gianni is in pit road, so hopefully he's still got hit. Do they have a quick fix here today? They have two. Two. Okay, great. Well, he can use a quick fix and get back out there and join the racing action. Let's go back up front here on the HPD class. Uh, we do have uh, Andy Morgan racing here with Donald Strout. I do apologize there, folks, when I was going through the replay there and uh, 
there for once. Uh, my uh, cars did blink out on me there for a second. Uh, a little internet issue there, but it looks like we're fine now. Um, and this, this battle here is just, it, it keeps changing, Charles, how these guys, uh, you know, react to one another when they get closer oh, to Oh, we got a car, other. Richard Columbia is on his top. Uh-oh. A lot of accidents here today. Let's go back and take a look at Richard That Columbia. was very weird. Wow, man, his car looks destroyed sitting there on pit road. Let's go back and... Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, we're watching right here. Let's ride up on board here. Oh! Tough break. Yeah, let's rewind that a little bit there. What happened here? Ooh. Jose Carlos Campadonico lost that car. Poor Richard had nowhere to go. That was a wild ride from the uh, cockpit view's perspective. Wow, so, yeah, tough break there. Uh, hopefully he's still got a quick fix and he can get back out there and so hopefully does uh, Jose Carlos Campadonico. Back up front here on the HPD leaders, Andy Morgan and Donald Strout. Uh, this battle just keeps changing every so slightly because there are a few laps ago that old Strout was, you know, he was behind Andy there to start by a second and then he caught up to him and was only about two tenths of a second back. Now he's almost back to being another second behind. So uh, I tell you, uh, Andy Morgan right now, he's got, he's just got this, you know, I think figured out because he knew Donald Strout was coming up on him and he figured something out that Donald didn't. And now Donald's back here about 1.2 seconds behind and uh, looks like he's got Andrew Fidler starting to reel him in. Yeah, I have a feeling Donald Strout's just taking it easy. I think he's going to play some strategy. I believe you might be right. Well, he's lost a lot more than I thought he did. He's, he's, how far back is he now? Uh, oh, Donald oh. Stroud missed the corner. Oh! Ooh. Upset right there, folks. Oh, well, he just came to a stop. I, there, there must be something wrong. Let's go back and take a look at this. Because he's still sitting on track. There, he's starting to move, but then he stopped again. Strange. He was doing fine. And he just hit the brakes and come to a stop. So technically, he did not miss the corner. Um, something must have happened there that he had to attend to. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But he is back underway now, but he lost a lot of positions on that. And he's now back to the mid place. That means Andrew Fiddler is 3.3 seconds behind Andy Morgan. So Andy Morgan now has a respectable lead out front here to where he can just kind of cruise for a little bit here and save some fuel possibly. But 16 laps to go here from Spa. And these guys are coming around to make it 15 to go. Let's go back here and check on a Pro Mazda leader, Remigio de Pasqua.
So it looks like here in the Pro Mazda category, Remigio de Pasco is leading the race. Kenneth Baldwin, though, is two seconds behind him. And uh, it's three-second gap between Andy Morgan and Andrew Fiddler at HPD. So it looks like the leaders are just smooth sailing right now in both series, or both classes, I should say. And they really don't have anything to worry about at this point in time in the race as we're coming to 15 laps to go. Take a look here. This track is in Belgium. Spa, Franco Champs. Uh, track temperature today is 84.7 degrees, and the number of turns that this track has is 21. So, a lap for every turn. <laughs> Since it's a 21 lap race. All right, back up front here on the HPD leader, Andy Morgan. He now has a 7.2 second lead over second place, Andrew Fiddler. So he's just smooth sailing right now out front here at Spa today with 14 laps remaining in this race. So, so far it looks like only only four Pro Mazdas have pitted, and no other cars on the racetrack have pitted as of yet. So only four Pro Mazdas. And those drivers were Gianni Ross Pato, Joel Martin, Jose Carlos Campadonico, and Richard Columbia, which I believe all four of those drivers were involved in a crash of some sort. So I believe that's the reason they've been on pit road. And I believe that still on pit or no they're both they're all on the racetrack once again so that is great but it looks like we got Dennis Cook off the track here as it shows so let's go back here and see what happened to Dennis oh yeah he's in the grass here let's uh, get an instant replay here and see exactly what happened let's try it on board here Dennis in the cockpit view with his pro model. It looks like he just lost it on his own. Yeah, sure does. Right in front of the leader, too, of wow. the HPD. Yeah. And you can see he had to wait for some HPD cars to come around there. And, uh, get that car back there. Got a good battle shaping up for what I think is... Oh, never mind. No, I think one of those drivers is a lap down. Oh, but we've got Jos Vandeven approaching pit road here. Yes, Jos Vandeven, the first HPD car to make a pit stop here today at Spa with 13 laps to go. And the strategy begins. Yes, it does. Alright folks, so we're going to step away here shortly and take a quick break. So here's a look at your overall top five HPD leaders here, and we'll be right back.
Welcome back, race fans, here to Redline TV. Uh, from our commercial break here, we have 12 laps remaining here at Spa. And uh, Andy Morgan is still your race leader with Andrew Fiddler still in second. Donald Strout in third position. So after we've seen Donald make an abrupt stop there for some reason, uh, he has made his way back up to third position. But I believe that's because a few of the HPD drivers have pitted, which is Marcel Gutierrez and Joseph Vandeven. But we do see the HPD leader, Andy Morgan, now approaching pit lane, so he will make his pit stop, and it looks like Andrew Fiddler will follow him in. So we'll see if Donald Strout also follows in as well, or if he'll stay out and possibly try to lead another lap. I don't think he's led a lap yet today. Um, so get a lap led is what I meant to say. And no, Donald Strout will not. He will come down pit lane. He is approaching the pits now. So he uh, will make his pit stop here along with Andy Morgan and Andrew Fiddler. But Andy Morgan will get back out first. And I believe Andrew Fiddler will follow suit here and come out second. So that means Andy Morgan will stay the HPD leader, I assume, here. Yes, because I believe so. Maybe Joseph Vandeven got up there. No, he didn't. Okay. Pit stop for Donald Stroud it's still show me that he is on pit road. Vandeven did, did jump to second, though. Yes, he did. And Andrew Fiddler will come back out third. Donald Stroud will come back out fourth, entering the pits third. John Morgan now on pit road as well, so that means the HPD pit stop cycle will be complete, and all HPDs will have made their pit stops and, I believe, can go to the end here of the race. Yeah, they should be able to. John, John Morgan. Morgan's in the pits. He just made his. He's now leaving the pits. So all HPDs have pitted. Let's go back here and take a look at the uh, race leader here in the uh, Pro Mazda category, who is Remigio de Pasqua. I believe he has not pitted yet. But the question is, can the Pro Mazdas make it all the way, or do they have to make a pit stop as well? Yeah, we'll see. Jim Oliver is in the pits, so that is a pro Mazda. So that means they may not be able to make it the rest of the way and go all the way here. So uh, we'll take a look here at Jim Oliver coming down pit lane. Jim Oliver, Joel Martin, and Gianni Raspato have all made their pit stops. So we'll see that if we need you to pause for it and Ken Baldwin, they come down for their pit stops and they will complete the pit stop cycle for, oh no, excuse me, Dennis Cook hasn't pitted yet in the uh, Pro Mazda. So three drivers up from Pro Mazda to complete the pit stop cycle and then all cars will have made a pit stop. So let's go back up here to uh, Remigio. See if he comes down pit road this time by as he is coming in to the last turn. Ten laps to go here at Spa. And yes, Remigio is hitting pit road.
but Kenneth Baldwin is not, so Kenneth Baldwin will take over the lead here in the Pro Mazdas. I do notice here that uh, the leader in the Pro Mods is currently Kenneth Baldwin. He does have a little bit of wing damage, so I say he'll be getting that changed and assessed when he comes down for his pit stop here. Uh, hopefully we see Dennis Cook is on pit road now, so that means that Kenneth Baldwin is the last car to make a pit stop cycle here uh, to make all cars come down pit road. So we'll see when he chooses to do so. He may do it this time by as we have nine laps to go. Here at Spa. Yes, Kenneth Baldwin is coming down pit lane, so he will uh, finish out the pit stop cycles here. And each car will make a pit stop today here at Spa. We'll uh, watch uh, here from Remigio de Pasqua to see if he can catch back up to uh, Kenneth before he leaves the pits here. As we see Remigio now coming around the last corner. I believe he will get back into the lead. Yes, he will. As Kenneth Baldwin is leaving pit road as he passes. So, Rejo De Pasqua back in the lead here in the Pro Mazdas. Okay, folks, we're going to take one more quick break, but it's not going to be a commercial break. We're going to leave on the race here for you. Here's another look at your top five overall in HPD.
All right, welcome back, race fans here at Redline TV. Uh, so we're bringing you flag to flag coverage today here of the 60 plus racing league. We got six laps remaining here in the race at Spa, and uh, we'll just go and kind of run down through your results here for you for a little bit and let you know where everybody started here. Let's uh, take a look here at the driver drop. Uh, that's the wrong one. Excuse me, driver. Long. Andy Morgan started on the pole position today. He's led 15 laps. Running in the lead. Running in second place in the H1E class is his teammate Joseph Vandeven, who started second and is currently running in second place. Running in third place here in the HPD class is Andrew Finkel. He started fifth today. Running in fourth currently in the HPD class is Donald Strout. He started third. <coughs> Marcel Gutierrez started sixth, running in fifth. John Morgan started fourth, running in sixth. Last car for the HPDs. The first car for the uh, Pro Mazdas today is Remigio de Pasqua. He started the pole position in the uh, Pro Mazdas, and that's still where he is overall at seventh position. Running in second place in the Pro Mazdas is Kenneth Baldwin. He started third, but he's currently running eighth overall. Running in third position in the uh, Pro Mazda class is Jim Oliver. He is ninth overall. Running in fourth place in the Pro Mazda category is Joel Martin. He's tenth overall. Running in 11th overall here is Gianni Raspaldo. He is in, I believe, 5th position. Yes, he is. Running in 6th position is Dennis Cook. He is 12th overall. Jose Carlos Capitanico. He is in 7th position. 13th overall. And last on the field is Richard Columbi. He is 14th overall, running in 8th in the Pro Mazdas. up front here on the overall race leader in Andy Morgan here in the HPDs. He has a 4.4 second lead over teammate Joseph Vandeven. And back in the Pro Mazda category, Rijo de Pasqua, I believe, yeah, he has a 7.4 second lead over Kenneth Baldwin. So right now, Charles, these leaders in both classes are just on a smooth sailing trip right now. They don't have anything to worry about uh, coming up from other competitors. No, they're absolutely dominating. along here with uh, the leader here at HPE's Andy Morgan. It's along the top of the here. It's comes around here to the front stretch here for the Formula 1 race. As we mentioned earlier, folks, these guys are using the GT front stretch, or the old classic front stretch is what it's known as here, classic pits. Um, he is usually this turn coming up here is the first corner for Spa. Today is the last corner for the pit turn. So uh, as uh, Andrew, uh, excuse me, not Andrew, as Andy uh, will come out of that corner, he's now coming down the uh, straightaway turn and say to the start finish line here and making it four laps remaining here at Spa.
totally seeing Marcel Gutierrez get off the track here a little bit in front of John Morgan. He looks okay now. Hey, did this cook just went off the track too? Off again. Oh. I don't know if we're going to get his kick. See what happened? Oh, he just lost it again on his own. He's had an issue with that today. That's the second time. A tough break for Dennis. Three laps of racing remaining here at Spa today for 60 Plus Racing League as we ride along here with Andy Morgan. position in the pro bosses which is eight got Andy Morgan come across our finish line to make it two laps to go here at Spa he comes back around next time by be the white flag Joseph Vandevin off the racetrack here. Let's go back and take a look. So we're right on board. He was running in second. Now he's running in third. Look at that. And Andrew Fitter's in second. Oh, he just lost it on his own there. Oh, no. Oh, and he hit the wall as well. break there for Joseph Vandeman, but as we go back up front here to the leader, Andy Morgan, as he takes the white flag for the last lap here around Spa in the HPDs and Pro Mazdas today for 60 Plus Racing League. Oh 
no. Dennis Cook's off the track again. I do believe something happened to Andrew Fiddler. Yeah, he's in the pit stall. What? We'll go back and take a look at that after we finish up our uh, results here. I'm very odd, I just pulled off the track and, and hit escaped and hit the escape went back to the garage. Huh, interesting. Well anyway folks, after that mishaps, Andy Morgan coming home the winner here at Spa in the HPD. So congratulations to Andy Morgan. He will go to victory lane here at Spa. Let's get up here with Remigio de Pasqua as he will be coming across the line here momentarily to become the winner of the Pro Mazdas. If no mistakes happen, he still has a few corners left. No other race cars in sight, so he's clean sailing right now. And we'll see if he can make it. But Joseph Vandeven will indeed get back to second place due to Andrew Fiddler uh, having an issue there and going to pit road. I wonder if maybe he ran out of gas. Maybe he did. Oof. That'll shape it up for what will what, be fourth, I do believe. Looks like Marcel Guterres will get it. That indeed he will. And here we come around one last corner for Regio de Pasqua. Folks, coming to the start finish line, Remigio de Pasco will be your winner in the Pro Mazdas at Spa. So, congratulations to Andy Morgan and Remigio on their wins here today at Spa for 60 Plus Racing League. Let's give these guys a few minutes here to uh, settle into their victories and uh, for the guys also, and uh, we'll get down and talk with them here.
Andy Morgan, do you have a copy? Yes, Jeff, loud and clear. Well, Andy, dominating performance by you here today. You led every single lap in this race, and you got the win. So tell us about your drive out there tonight, uh, this afternoon, and uh, you know what you had to do to stay out front uh, as long as you did. Uh, the changes to the car on the, la the last tire update uh, made it a bit all over the place for me at the start. Uh, I haven't had much practice. I'd only had a few laps before the race, and... Uh, it took me the first sort of couple of laps to sort of really settle down and uh, realize it was just a matter of being smooth, uh, not too hard on the brakes, and just keep it nice and steady. Kept watching behind, saw other people sort of falling off a bit behind me, and uh, I just drove away then, enjoyed it, enjoyed the race thoroughly. Well, tell us about the pit stop cycle that you had to do here today for Spa, and uh, how the track conditions were out there. Uh, you know what that what what was going through your head when you had to make the pit stop, knowing how far back the other drivers were, and how track conditions were out there, depending on you know when you'd come back off pit road and how it would affect your driving on new tires. Well, I didn't take tires. I don't know if anyone else did. Uh, I felt that this car should go like an hour on uh, on a set of tires, no problem. So all I did was took fuel. Uh, I judged it, judged it just right. I had uh, one lap of fuel left as I crossed the, uh, the the finish line. So that worked out fine for me. I come out and, uh, in fact, I gained a couple of seconds on, on the pit stop. So uh, I was happy with that. Track conditions were nice. Slippery in places, uh, but as long as you were smooth, smooth on the brakes, smooth on the throttle coming out the corners, the car went lovely. Great, yeah, you had your pit stop strategy, you know, down to a T by not taking any tires there, and that helped you stay in the lead. So congratulations on your win today here, Andy. Do you have anybody that you'd like to give a shout-out to or thanks uh, before you go celebrate? Yeah, definitely got to say thank you to Donald for putting this on. Uh, as, I've, as I've said every time, this, this is an awesome uh, series. I love it. I love all the guys in it. It's the, the most respectful series you can, you can race in. You never have any problems with anyone. It's absolutely brilliant. I've got to thank my, my teammate Joss there for sort of watching my back all the way through the race. All right, Andy Wilk, congratulations on your win today here at Spa, and uh, good luck next week at Nurburgring. Oh, yeah, looking forward to the ring. I love that one. All right, Joe Vandeven, you got a copy. Please go ahead. Well, Joe, you finished second today here at Spa. Uh, look like we seen your little incident there where you uh, spun around the corner there and tapped the wall a little bit, but it looks like. Uh, Andrew ran out of fuel, and you were able to get back into second. So, kind of tell us about your run out there today here around Spa. Well, I had a race with a few incidents, two spins. Lost a, a couple of seconds there. Um, and he was very fast today. And also Donald, of course. But then I saw uh, Donald make a mistake in the bus stop. I could overtake him, and um, I had a battle with uh, Andrew, and I, I wanted to uh, to have some uh, some room, so I went for an early pit stop with three laps to go, and then uh, I could pass uh, Andrew, and I had the same distance uh, from Andy. Um, and then I was closing in a little bit on Andy, and maybe I pushed too hard, so I made, a, made another uh, mistake and, uh, and a spin. And then Andrew could uh, pass me again, and then he uh, run without fuel. So that was my luck, and uh, bad luck to uh, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunate for Andrew there today. 
uh, with that. But uh, good luck for you there, and uh, you got it back up to second place. So uh, kind of give us your uh, perspective on track conditions here today for Spa and uh, how your car handling was. Well, the car handling was uh, good, and the track was good. I had uh, also the, the fastest uh, lap, so I'm happy with that. And, uh, yeah, it, you have to be careful. Uh, one little mistake and you're out. So I, had near, uh, I was nearby uh, out, but not uh, the whole thing. All right, well... Congratulations here on the second place finish today, Jose. Uh, do you have anybody that you'd like to give thanks or shout to before you go celebrate? Well, of course, I want to thank uh, Donald for making this all possible. And uh, for Andy, Andy, of course, uh, as a teammate, uh, for uh, taking the victory. And, uh, of course, my wife, she uh, also supports me at home for making uh, me racing and of course you Jeff for uh, taking the interviews and putting it all on YouTube and you're welcome on that and great all right Joe Swilp congratulations uh, once again and uh, go celebrate and uh, good luck next week when you go to Nürburgring I definitely will be there All right, Donald Strout, do you have a copy? Yeah, go ahead. Well, Donald, uh, you had a great run out there today. Uh, you finished third. Um, we seen you there. You had a, a little mishap. You had to pull off the track there for a little bit. Uh, you were running second, and you were having a great race there with Andy. So uh, give us your perspective on today's race and uh, what happened there and uh, what the track conditions were like. Well, basically, uh, I had a computer glitch or problem uh, when I went to hit the F button to see how much fuel I had so I could readjust it for the pit stop. Uh, my computer went into uh, shutter mode and all the sound went off, so it just happened. So rather than trying to drive where I couldn't uh, hear and couldn't see properly, I just pulled off the track until it cleared out. Uh, by then, I was down uh, 30 seconds or so. So basically, I just uh, did the best I could after that. And, uh, you know, there was no chance that I was going to catch anybody of the top three. But looks like everybody uh, that was behind me made a few more mistakes than I did. Yeah, exactly. Those few mistakes did help you indeed get back up to third place. So congratulations on, uh, you know, racing your way back up to third and uh, get the top three finish here today at Spa. Um, but with your perspective, with, from what Andy said and Joseph said, what were your uh, opinion? What, what's your opinion on the track conditions today here at Spa? Well, you know, the, this update that uh, iRacing had where phase one right after the 13 week update after the 13th week and then they did a second patch was just a nightmare for me because I had built sets for spa on the old tire model then I built sets for spa on the new tire model after the update then I have to build sets for the uh, second patch update so all in all I probably spent like 40 hours doing setups on this thing and uh, I, I finally made a decision to go with a medium downforce and create a car that seemed drivable. And I think it came out pretty well. The track was a little bit slippery, but the car had the ability to uh, catch uh, and allow for corrections, even if you did spin the tires coming off of the slow corner. So I think the setup was good. Track was good. Uh, I just think that uh, iRacing should not be messing around with these tires so much. It's really ridiculous. Yeah, I can agree there. I, I, I've always said, you know, that, the uh, you know, it seems like every time they do a build, they mess with the setup on the car or do something to change it, and we just get used to it. Uh, so I'm always, like, saying, stop messing with stuff so, uh, stuff so much. So, uh, but anyway, uh, congratulations, Donald, on your third place uh, finish here today. Top three for you. Uh, do you have anybody you'd like to give thanks or shout to uh, before you go celebrate? Always thank the blessings of God and uh, appreciate everybody coming out and I hope everybody had a great time. I really want to compliment the guys in the Mazdas. They did a superb job uh, as they, as I encountered them. Uh, they just drove super. And yes, they were uh, almost as fast as the HPD in the corner. So I tried to lay back if I was in the technical sessions and take them on the straightaways. But they did just a fine job, all of them, and including the one that was in the front and the one that was in the back, all of them. 
That's great. Well, all right, Donald. Well, once again, congratulations on your third place finish, and uh, good luck next week at Nurburgring. All right, Kenneth Baldwin, do you have a copy? Well, as a matter of fact, I do, Jeff. Well, Kenneth, it looks like all the other uh, pro models, the drivers, have taken off on me uh, all sudden like. So it looks like the only one left to talk to here. Well, you got second place today here at Spa. Uh, Kyle, tell us your race there with the leader, Remigio, and the guys behind you. And uh, your thoughts about the race today here at Spa. Well, it started off great. Had a pretty good run going there with Remigio and uh, Gianni. And on the third lap, uh, I think Major kind of chopped Johnny's nose a bit, and he hammered the brakes, and I tapped him and sent him around. I didn't mean for that to happen. And other than that, it was a fun day, and I just made laps after that. Nobody was anywhere near me. Exactly, yeah. Well, uh, what Donald was talking about there a minute ago with, you know, how the you know, uh, HPDs and the Pro Mazdas have the same speed in the corners. Uh, how did that feel when you saw an HPD coming up around you on a straightaway? How did you prepare for for the corners, knowing that they had the same speed? Well, before the change, uh, they would go around, and that was the last you saw them until somebody else came around. But uh, the first corner we got to, and I had to slow down to keep them running to the back of one. That was kind of a surprise. But uh, it was good. Good chance to practice some racing craft and uh, learn how to do the whole thing. All right, Kenneth. Well, congratulations here on your second place finish today in the Pro Mazdas. Do you have anybody that you'd like to give thanks or shout out to for you to celebrate? Well, I'll start, I'll start with you, Jeff. Uh, I appreciate the fact that we do this, we all do. And uh, I enjoy watching the, the YouTube video. That's it. You did a great job with that. I also want to thank Donald, uh, all the work he puts in to get this done. And I haven't had a complaint with one of the setups he's put down yet. And all the guys, um, I consider this to be a league of extraordinary gentlemen, so I want to thank all of them for making this a great time. All right, Kenneth. Well, once again, congratulations on your second place finish today here at Spa, and uh, good luck next week at Nurburgring. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Let's run down through the results here, Charles, and uh, we'll close this one out. All right. Coming home with the win today here at Spa when the HPD class is Andy Morgan. Congratulations to him for taking the win. Jose Vandeven will finish in second. Donald Strout will finish third. Marcel Gutierrez will finish in fourth. And John Morgan will finish in fifth. And a tough break for Andrew Fiddler today as he was running in second place after Joseph Vandeven did spin around there, but he ran out of fuel and will finish sixth, last for the HPDs. Charles? All right, Remigio de Pasqua will be your winner in the Pro Mazda today. Kenneth Baldwin will take second. Third will go to Gianni Respato. Finishing fourth will be Joel Martin. Jim Oliver will come home fifth. Finishing sixth will be Jose Carlos Campadonico. Seventh, we'll go to Richard Columbia, and rounding out the field will be Dennis Cook. All right, folks. Well, for us here at Redline TV, I'm Jeff Dawson alongside Charles Smith. We hope you enjoyed today's coverage here of the 60-plus Racing League here from Spa. Until next time, folks, keep it safe, and uh, we're out. <laughs>